Now, let's get started on an amortization schedule for this house we just bought. If we borrow $85,000 at 5.5% for 30 years, notice we found we had a monthly payment of $482.80. We needed the 30-year time period to look up in the table to find the table factor. Once we know the monthly payment, here's a very important piece of information. If you know the monthly payment, we don't do anything with that 30 years in our amortization schedule. Remember on Abby's furniture, we had no idea how long it was going to take her to pay that off. We just do it a month at a time. So, to start our amortization schedule, we would say interest is principal times rate times time. How much are we borrowing when we first start? 85,000. What's our interest rate? Five and a half percent. And when you're making a monthly payment, time is always one month. One out of 12 or 30 out of 360. Same fraction, isn't it? And that's going to be our interest for the first month. And what does that turn out to be? One out of 12. I would, I would just do this, you know. 85,000 times 5.5% divided by 12 equals. That's what I would do because it's less numbers to punch in. So our first month's interest, I get 389.58 to the nearest penny. Does that sound right? That's the interest for the first month. And remember, we pay off the interest first, we subtract that from the payment, and that's how much gets to go to reduce our principal. And then we subtract that from our $85,000, and that's how much we now owe our ending balance I'll go ahead and complete this just so you'll see how the process works so you can check yourself later now we're borrowing a lower amount So should our interest be higher, lower, or the same? Should be lower. So a little more goes to principal. And all right, we are paying off our house. After two months, we don't owe 85,000 anymore. We owe 84,813. <laughs> This is a long process, and it looks really grim at the beginning. <laughs> In fact, it may take 15 or 17 or 18 years before our principal equals our interest. 10 o'clock. And I'll complete this third row for you. We always use last month's ending balance for this month's beginning balance. That's how much we paid it down to last month, so that's how much we are borrowing this month. So our interest goes down, our principal reduction amount goes up, and eventually we pay this house down to zero, and now we own it. Instead, 